we have to be willing to have those uncomfortable conversations. You know, this is central yeah. to any struggle for progress. For this episode, Ruha Benjamin goes one-on-one -on -one with Jackson Mayor Shokwe Antar Lumumba. Together, they take a deep dive on the state of race. Today's topic is, how do you see the community of cultural providers and creators playing a role in regard to issues of race? What kind of initiatives could they employ to improve racial literacy? One of the things we've been saying, you know, consistently is that, you know, the facts alone aren't going to save us. Mm -hmm. We need accurate data. We need to know our historical, you know, facts. We need to understand the problem. But in terms of imagining and changing society, um, we need all hands on deck. <laughs> and um, artists and cultural producers can't be the kind of uh, afterthought in yeah. which we get everything set up and then, oh, let's make it sound good or feel good as kind of window dressing for the real hard business, you know? And so I think about, you know, Du Bois' call to artists to say, you know, this is central yeah. to any struggle for progress. You know, the movement has to be at the heart of it. And mm -hmm. so I think, you know, we're getting better at um, diagnosing the social problems, but in terms of changing our patterns of thought, our patterns of interaction, imagining how we could organize our social world other than what we have now, we need people who can think creatively, mm -hmm. right? And not just think creatively in the abstract, but bring to life other ways of seeing and doing. And so f f to my mind, it, people who already have that experience can, it can um, sort of bring, become part of the core, or already at the core of social movements, right? And so um, it's no question that, um, that they have to be there from the beginning yeah. of whatever we're planning. <laughs> they, they have to be a part of it. That's right. Uh, uh, not, not uh, you know, merely beneficiaries. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I don't think that there is a, a revolution that is coming mm -hmm. that will be won by a few and brought to the masses. Yes. Uh, it's, it's something that we all have to, to live, yeah. think, and breathe. You know, mm -hmm. I think back to one of my father's mm -hmm. uh, famous quotes that he mm -hmm. would tell me often, and mm -hmm. he said, listen, our, our talents are not ours alone. Mm -hmm. Uh, they are the fruit of our labor as a people, yeah. belonging to us all as a people, mm -hmm. and they must be used accordingly. Mm -hmm. And so if I'm an artist, I need to paint the message mm -hmm. that racism must end. Hmm. Uh, if I'm a basketball player, I need to use that platform yep. to speak to those issues and not just shut up and dribble. Exactly. Uh, if, if I am uh, mm -hmm. in a political space like yep. this, I need to understand the moment and understand how I need to use this space yep. while still maintaining the, the basic understanding mm -hmm. Uh, that it is a, a uh, it, it is a means to an end mm. and not the end of it uh, all together. Yes. And so yeah. when we fail to fully understand that, then then we're limiting ourselves. Uh, you are aware of the statement mm. that the master's tools will never dismantle mm. the master's house. Yeah. And so we have to strike out against these systems of oppression yeah. and understand how they are built for that oppression. Yes. And so how do we uh, see something that is failing us all and demand that we recreate something yes. totally different? Absolutely. Absolutely.